Demystifying study designs, exploring the pros and cons of different study designs in research. Hello everyone, welcome to our video about the different types of study designs in research. Research plays a critical role in finding evidence-based solutions to real-world problems. However, not all studies are created equal. In this video, we will be discussing different types of study designs in research, including examples, benefits, and drawbacks. Cross-sectional study. Cross-sectional studies are observational studies that examine a group of individuals at a single point in time. This study design is commonly used in social sciences and public health research. An example of a cross-sectional study is a survey that collects information on the prevalence of smoking in a specific population. Benefits quick and easy to conduct, provide a snapshot of a population's characteristics, can be used to generate hypotheses. Drawbacks, cannot determine cause and effect relationships, susceptible to bias, such as recall bias and selection bias, unable to capture changes over time. Case reports and series, case reports and series are descriptive studies that report on the clinical findings and outcomes of a single case or a small group of cases. This study design is useful for identifying new or rare clinical conditions. An example of a case report is a description of a patient with a rare disease. Benefits, useful for identifying new or rare clinical conditions, can provide preliminary data for future research, can help improve patient care. Drawbacks, cannot establish cause and effect relationships, susceptible to bias, such as selection bias and publication bias, cannot generalize findings to a larger population. Case control study. Case control studies are retrospective studies that compare individuals with a specific outcome, cases, to individuals without the outcome, controls, to determine potential risk factors. This study design is useful for studying rare diseases or outcomes. An example of a case control study is a study that compares individuals with lung cancer to individuals without lung cancer to determine the risk factors associated with the disease. Benefits useful for studying rare diseases or outcomes, able to examine multiple risk factors, can be conducted quickly and inexpensively. Drawbacks, cannot establish cause and effect relationships, susceptible to bias, such as recall bias and selection bias, difficult to establish temporal relationships. Cohort study, cohort studies are longitudinal studies that follow a group of individuals over time. This study design is useful for studying the natural history of a disease or evaluating the effectiveness of an intervention. An example of a cohort study is a study that follows a group of individuals with high blood pressure to determine the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Benefits. Able to establish cause and effect relationships, can examine the effects of multiple exposures on an outcome, can capture changes over time. Drawbacks. Time-consuming and expensive to conduct, loss to follow-up can introduce bias, may not be feasible for rare diseases or outcomes. Randomized controlled trial, RCT. Randomized controlled trials are experimental studies that randomly assign participants to a treatment group or a control group. This study design is considered the gold standard for evaluating the effectiveness of an intervention. An example of an RCT is a study that randomly assigns participants to either a new medication or a placebo to determine the medication's effectiveness. Benefits. Able to establish cause and effect relationships. Minimizes bias by randomly assigning participants. Can examine the effects of an intervention on multiple outcomes. Drawbacks. Expensive and time consuming to conduct. May not be feasible for rare diseases or outcomes. Ethical concerns about withholding treatment from the control group. Systematic review. Systematic reviews are comprehensive reviews of the literature that use a predefined search strategy to identify and critically evaluate all relevant studies on a specific research question. This study design is useful for synthesizing existing evidence and determining the overall effectiveness of an intervention or treatment. An example of a systematic review is a review that evaluates the effectiveness of cognitive behavioral therapy for treating depression in adults. Benefits provides a comprehensive and unbiased summary of existing evidence, able to identify gaps in the literature and areas for future research, can inform clinical practice guidelines and policy decisions. Drawbacks, time-consuming and resource-intensive to conduct, limited by the quality and availability of existing studies, risk of bias if the search strategy is not comprehensive or if the selection criteria are not clearly defined. Meta-analysis, Meta-analysis is a statistical method used to combine the results of multiple studies on the same research question. 
This study design is useful for increasing the statistical power of a study in identifying the overall effect size of an intervention or treatment. An example of a meta-analysis is a statistical analysis that combines the results of multiple studies to determine the effectiveness of a new drug for treating a specific disease. Benefits Increases the statistical power of a study and reduces random error. Can provide a more precise estimate of the overall effect size. Can identify sources of heterogeneity and explore potential moderators. Drawbacks Limited by the quality and availability of existing studies, susceptible to publication bias and selective reporting, risk of bias if the selection criteria or statistical methods are not clearly defined. Conclusion In summary, there are various types of study designs in research, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Cross-sectional studies provide a snapshot of a population's characteristics, case reports and series are useful for identifying new or rare clinical conditions. Case control studies are useful for studying rare diseases or outcomes, cohort studies are useful for studying the natural history of a disease or evaluating the effectiveness of an intervention. Randomized controlled trials are the gold standard for evaluating the effectiveness of an intervention. Systematic reviews provide a comprehensive and unbiased summary of existing evidence, and meta-analyses combine the results of multiple studies to increase statistical power and identify the overall effect size. By understanding the different types of study designs, researchers can select the most appropriate design for their research question and generate high-quality evidence to inform clinical practice and policy decisions.